Now back on the ground floor, we head to the dining room, an immaculately preserved space that until just a century ago was actually a kitchen. As we've come into this room, there's two gentlemen, two men, and a lady, very prominent. Now, I feel that the gen one gentleman, spirit, and lady are connected. They were here together. It might be husband and wife, it could be father and daughter, but they were connected and they had great, great... Um, it's like they own this place. They were, they were, you know, like lord and lady type of uh, energies. But the other one, I feel there was a fear factor with him. And people respected him, but felt, oh, we better not do anything. And it was him that I feel had housed people here okay. for their wrongdoings, and stealing and stuff like that. Do you have a family name? Not yet, Evie. Right. Um, what would be heard in here, but I don't feel it's on like a regular basis. It would be, uh, you'd hear laughter, you'd hear people, you know, as if they were eating. Right, and noise so that like would that. be dining room. Yeah, so. you, you get that. But I don't say that you're going to get that on a regular basis. Right. Derek's findings were of interest, particularly as he had just been made aware of an imposing member from the family's past. But could he provide the name that links all of these faces with this house? And would we clarify which Fitzherbert he had encountered? Now, as we come into this room, and I'm coming along the passageway and I was made very aware when I was talking downstairs about this, these two men and a lady, apart from the Viking mm -hmm. um, individual, I get this movement um, coming right along here and a graceful movement that is born out of the lady um, and they seem for some reason to be very, very um, keen to be up here. In actual fact, I would say it's here where they, you know, in visitation near portal, okay, uh, you know, it's, they come in. William, D um, one of the men is William, William, and it, yes, Fitzherbert, William Fitzherbert mm -hmm. is the man that comes here. Right. Very authoritative. Very authoritative. No, this is uh, husband and wife that you picked up downstairs? Yes. So it's, this is around the 1600s then, is that...? Well, I, I can't say unless that's given to me. Right. Um, go on. Who's the other one? The total different one? He comes into these bedrooms. OK. Who is it? So I'm saying Richard. Richard who? Richard who, Sam? Just put it in front of you, go on. Richard Fitzherbert. It's the same link, same family link. Mm. Now, so when were they here? When, were, when was William here? OK. OK. Now, I, I'm getting two dates now. I don't know what, at this moment who he's referring to, but just quickly flashed, OK? It, in front, as I say, one seems to be um, towards, leading towards 1600 and something. And the other goes way forward, I feel, to 1700 and something, OK? Right. So there's a difference of that period yeah. of time. <gasps> OK, the lady that walks here, mm -hmm. OK, her first name is Margaret. Right. Margaret. What? He's given me also another lady that comes here, Sarah. Now, again, not one of these spirit people are actually grounded here. It's visitation. I don't feel that these lovely souls, they want to keep to themselves. They're, they're a retiring lot, um, they're a kindred lot. I don't feel any evil whatsoever or bad intent here. Three doors along lies a far different environment, one that allegedly saw a young female Fitzherbert lose her life tragically a century and a half ago in this room. But what did Derek feel as he stepped into bedroom number four? Someone has come through into this room at maybe a regular basis, a regular, and has been talking and left it in the atmosphere about the Duke visiting, the Duke visiting, and they were getting everything ready, and they were, um, the, the household, the household um, had to be, absolutely, all the staff had to be um, doing their work um, because um, the Duke was coming. Whoever the Duke is, 
whatever to you. I, I've felt all along here that a lot of um, high esteemed people have actually come and stayed here. Um, and there is the dual energy, just a tinge of it still right. in the atmosphere. Right. Um, so it's been, a, a, in its time, I feel, over its period of time, for how long it's been, there has been a lot of happy, a lot of um, a very busy household. Derek's findings appear to verify the tales that Tissington has told for over 400 years. That of a Derbyshire home that holds only austere energies. With David Wells also arriving at the hall, we were able to obtain his reading. And where better to begin than the docile dining room, now far removed from the hustle and bustle of servants scurrying to tend their master's needs. I don't really sense any activity, if I'm being honest. Um, even residually, all I sense is... I actually sense a big bench along here. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if this has been redesigned. It feels more like a skivvies area. Oh, really? Or a, like a pantry or a kitchen or a, you know, book polishing room or, or something. I know that sounds a bit... No, but, you but you're I mean? picking up on pictures of, of what it was before. Yes. So you think this was possibly um, a servant's area or a kitchen or something like that, rather yeah. than what it is now? Yeah. yeah. And it, it seems to me that... Um, it seems odd to me, I was fighting with it because you would expect, because the natural order of things is it's further down in the house, mm. isn't it? Richard, mm. is that, yes. is that, sorry to call yeah, it It's absolutely correct again. Um, the the panelling is, is quite old and I presume has come from somewhere else, probably another part of the building, but originally this was the kitchen. And that area there, of course, would have been a huge kitchen range and uh, this is where the cooking with the spits would be there. Right. Um, this was the main kitchen for the house. It's quite a small kitchen for it's a big a, house. It, yeah, but of course, remember, it wasn't such a big house in the, in the 1600s. Yes, it yeah. was a much, much smaller stone-built house. And your main hall, sort of down there, they'd have probably dined in there. And this is, say, this is your kitchen. Yeah. So they wouldn't need a kitchen that big. But for activity-wise, you wouldn't think this, was, this, this is not an active room It doesn't at all. feel active to me at all, no. Okay. Not at all. All right. So, although correctly identifying its past, David feels that this former service area doesn't resonate with spiritual activity. So I was keen to hear his views on room four, the first floor bedroom that is thought to have witnessed an horrific family tragedy that haunts the Fitzherbert family to this very day. I'm very conscious of a female. She, she is, in ghostly terms, a whaler. Ever since... Um, started walking around this place I've sensed a fire now I can't my head you know my head burns if or it feels as if it's burning if we sense a fire um, but it seems very much why this woman she's actually on fire as she's running up and down right through these halls and I would suggest that that's why people feel when they sleep in these rooms they feel that almost like a panic and it can make them um, depend on the individual feel anxious feel nauseous, whatever, and that's why she's going, I'm here. She just seems to be almost like a nightgown. What I'm sensing is like a nightgown going on fire and flames. And it's almost like, well, she's falling against things. She's setting fire to everything. Oh, my God. Um, she is almost demented with the pain. But the interesting thing is to me, she doesn't, she doesn't appear to die immediately. She doesn't... And I'm just wondering if that's why she's not crossed. Because there is a sense of her convalescing or attempting to convalesce before she dies. But she's building anger. And it, I think the words that ring in my, my ears is someone could have tried better. They could have tried more. So someone could have saved her, or at least that's the, the impression is someone could have saved her. So they couldn't help, they, she wanted them to come quicker? Yeah. Just try for me, I really, really want you to try so hard and try and get this name. Even a first letter of her first name.